So I just want to quickly go through EPS. So we get this question quite a lot from installers, even end users email through to us, uh, asking what is the maximum you can do on the EPS with any of the LUX controllers. So um, with the AC or our standard hybrids, the maximum you can put on EPS is 13 amps. So this will not power the entire fuse board. A lot of people get mistaken by this, thinking they can just, in the event of a power cut, things will switch on straight away. It won't. 13 amps is a limit you can do from here. So there's a few things that people do is they will put a double socket on there. Uh, so in the event of a power cut, that double socket's live. You can run an extension lead and power various things, your Wi-Fi or your TV. Um, providing all the wiring is up to spec in your house and you've got um, really good fuse boards and stuff like that. In some cases, then you, some electricians can remove the light ring mains, put that onto the uh, EPS outlet. So then you've always got lights in the event of a power cut, as well as a double socket as well. The EPS function, which comes out from underneath the unit, is always live, even when grid is present. It's only when, when grid is disabled, there's been a power cut, that then power will come straight from the batteries down the EPS socket and then supply whatever's on the EPS. That will happen in milliseconds. So that's just a little basic overview of what EPS is on the Luxes and how it works.